for bear hunting and trapping regulations have been set. Mike Anderson gives us all the details in this week's segment of North Dakota Outdoors. There is only one minor regulation change for the 2024-25 hunting and trapping season. We've always wanted to protect the Turtle Mountain region uh, from fisher trapping because we have a small population of American Martin up there that are not um, open to trapping at this point in time. But we've actually uh, shrunken that closed zone down and now we're delineating that closed zone using the major highways surrounding the Turtle Mountains. North Dakota's most popular fur bear seems to be holding their own. Anecdotally, I'm hearing that coyote numbers are doing really well in most everywhere in the state, all corners of the state I'm hearing from people, but you can expect at least the same coyote population as last year. The mountain lion population in North Dakota remains stable. Seem to have hit sort of a sweet spot where our population has been pretty stable for about the last seven, eight years with pretty minor fluctuations from year to year. The season for zone one and two of the state for mountain lions will be the same as last year. The muskrat population has been trending downwards the last few years. North Dakota actually cycles about every 10 or 11 years and our population peak, our boom this last couple of years was a lot lower than in previous years. The river otter harvest limit is 25 again this year and one per trapper. It's a trapping season only, and you know, this, the season is statewide, but since we opened the season, the maj vast majority of river otters are getting taken in that eastern third of the state. So the Red River Valley and its tributaries, that's the stronghold of river otters in the state. The bobcat harvest limit is the same as last year. The western half of the state is traditionally our stronghold for bobcats, you know, where our larger breeding population of bobcats, the badlands, all the river tri tributaries in, in western North Dakota. Uh, and then we have another population of bobcats, primarily up in the Pemina Gorge region. But they do have a tendency to trickle out of that area, and so we split the zone, uh, or the state, down, down the middle into the two zones. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.